Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Friday. It is Friday, right? It is. Which means it's time for another Nord Streams Hyrule Warrior Definitive Edition. So, hey, if I'm a little bit late, uh, apparently this Nintendo Switch had an update, so I had to do that. Also, uh, I'm feeling like we, we need some, some sex appeal here, so Futaba's staying. Futaba's staying for this one. That's, that's just, that just has to happen. Also, it's just a really cute gift, so I want to just keep it there. What did I have for dinner tonight? Nothing! I'm starving to death! There, li there, there literally wasn't, wasn't time, because, like, I was recording near Automata Matamata because I'm super behind on Let's Plays. Uh, and then I looked up, and it was, it was stream time. Eh. So, hey, we've got the Darunia now, uh, but Sheik is still the one we play. Oh, boy. Ugh. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. I had, like, some hot dogs, but that was, like, more for lunch. So, I mean, that's a thing. Ah, uh, yes. Burnt-ass Walmart pizza, the dinner of kings. Upon freeing Princess Rudo, however, Impa was shocked to learn the reason for the conflict between the Zora and Goron people. The ancient water temple was teeming with monsters that... And the Grudo were like, I want some of that! What's oh! More, the monsters were apparently... Oh, Princess Zelda is evil herself. now, I wonder... I wonder who this could be. This disturbing revelation. An evil Impa Princess Zoraldo? Man. To Lake Wherever could she be? When they arrived, they were greeted by a Zelda, seemingly consumed by evil. So, like, is there actually, like, fucking time paradoxes shit going on here? Is there, is there actually, like, a time fucking paradox shit going on here? Like... Uh, does you say that, but... Like, from what I've seen of Become Human so far... I kind of wish I did have a PS4 so I could play it, because so far it's looking to be a lot more like Fahrenheit than Heavy Rain, and that makes me sad, because I like Fahrenheit. <laughs> so like, I'm just like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh, I want to play it. I want to play it. I want to see the Android spirituals. But we've only seen one link so far, dude. Okay, so what does that actually do? Okay, let me see if I remember the... There we go, okay, that's the controls. Okay, so what am I actually doing here today? Uh, I'm killing these guys. Aha, you fools! I... what was... what is that attack supposed to do? I... it, it knocked them back a little bit and did like a pitiful tiny bit of damage. Alright. Okay, alright. Okay, let me see if I remember how to play. Oh, jeez. It's been a long week. Dude, I have no idea. This game is really weird. Like, sometimes there's Zelda music, and sometimes there's not. It's really weird. Alright, Ruto, don't die. I need to get this captain real quick. Uh, Ruto, 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 Ruto. Oh, fuck me, there's those Alphos everywhere. Oh, yeah. There's an evil Zelda telling them all they're bitches. Yeah, that'll hurt Hyrule Mor Hyrulean morale. Having to fight to kill your princess. If only we had a Zelda of our own here who was telling us, yeah, no, that's bullshit. If only. If only we had Zelda. Oh. Oh man, it'd be really great if Zelda would show up. Oh well. 
Like, at this point, Sheik should just take the mask off and be like, okay, I get it. Jeez. Alright, Ruto, can you can you go now? Seriously, Ruto. I why isn't Link here? Like, why, like, why isn't Link the one who uh, who goes and meets Ruta? I mean, he's betrothed to her after all. He's the, the Link from this era is. Like, they go get you some fish, pussy boy. It's hard. Let's go. Hey. Where's the Runia now? Wait, where's where's the Runia? All right. Well, there's a there's a dead Goron, but. All I know is that there's, there's Alphos everywhere. Where's... Fine, I'll kill these guys and... I guess I'll hope that Zelda's AI, or Sheik's AI, sorry. Is that two different people? I have, let's just hope Zelda, um, Sheik's AI does what it's supposed to do. Meanwhile, I appear to be doing half damage. I think these guys are water too. That's great. There we go. Go, just die, please. Just die, please, sir. Jeez, you hear that fucking airplane outside? Christ. Right. Oh, there's the Runia. Okay, then who is being rescued down where she is? There we go. Hooray! I rescued him. I wear a Gruto again. Oh, there she is. She's, she's over there. This is. This feels like the one that I should have done first, because it's also the dullest one. I'm just sitting here killing Stalfos and waiting for Ruto to go where she wants. Like, compared to the Twilight one that I did first. I feel like I did this in reverse order. Holy shit. Like, like the one in Twilight was, was actually fa fairly difficult. The, the one uh, in Skyloft was... It was easier than that, actually. But then this one, it's just like, yeah, no, I'm just hitting buttons. I'm hitting buttons and nothing really of import is happening. Jeez. I mean, the evil Princess Zelda is... is an interesting idea, at least. Yeah, like, there's no real, like, danger from the from the enemies. There's no danger from, uh, like, a boss flying around. There's not even, like, a co even a commander on the field. Like, yeah, I feel like I super did these in the wrong order. Like, because I'm pretty sure the one before this one didn't have a a boss on the field either. Like, there's Volga in Skyloft, and he was being a booty hole, and there was Girahim there. And then in, um... And then in uh, Twilight, you had the flying boss you had to use an event to bring down, and then you had to fight him. Um, and then you had Zant running around. Like... Woof. Woof, I say. There's some, there's some definite nonsense happening. Oh. <laughs> so it's just go this way. Hello, fellas. Oh, hey, there's Big Poe. Hi, Big Poe. 
Oh, does she, does Impa know that Sheik is Zelda? That's something I'm wondering, actually. Because, I mean, if so, then why is she still doing it? Like, if she know, like, if, if Impa knows, then why is, then why is she indulging it? Well, she's not going like, okay, look, just take the mask off, right? Nobody's gonna know. Ah, it seems, it seems kind of weird. Hey, B1, what's up, man? Oh, jeez, there's just Stalfos everywhere. Oh, and it locked me in. And they just locked me in. Alright. Okay, why, why is that? Okay. Weird. I'm hitting the button to fucking use my arrows, it's not working. Excuse me? Excuse me? Alright, so I gotta, I gotta capture all these side things, right? Can I work the floodgates? Oh no, it's an evil Zoldo, no! Like, seriously, why is... Like, her, her people are fucking, like, losing their shit. Why does she not just take off the mask and be like, Okay, look, I'm the real Zoldo. It's... No. It's just... It's stupid. Like, I'm right here, for fuck's sake. Like, she does it to, like, disguise herself, but... Impa has to know. Impa super knows. There's no way Impa doesn't know. I refuse to believe that Impa doesn't know. How do I open this fucking floodgate? There's like a side area off here, but how do I get in there? Like, how I how I do? Um, how I how I open? Like. There's that. Yeah, like that other. Oh, there's one. Okay. So I gotta capture this. And then there's another keep over over on the other side that's that's super close. Very confused. And get dicked on. Right here. Oh jeez. Yeah, I, I definitely did these in the wrong order. This should have been the first one I did. I'm over level for this now. I am I am super over level for this. Ah. Uh. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so that okay. Then that opens that one. I can go get that one, and that'd be good. All right. Then, where are my soldiers? Ah! Where are my guys? Doesn't hundred percent know. Like she can't make the assumption. Like, if, like when you have like an evil Zelda going on, and like, like you think like the question would be asked. Be like, okay, look, are you are you Zelda in disguise? Right? Because like, there's like three people that could be Sheikah. That could like that could pretend to be Sheikah, and one of them is me, and I'm here, so it, yeah, it can't be me. So like, what's what's up here? The fucking spill it. Especially because like the second that Zelda disappeared, Sheik showed up. You know what? I think she might. Oh man. Traps don't exist in Sheikah culture. 
It's their greatest weakness as a people. They don't believe in traps. They're, they're easily fooled by the feminine dong and, and, and the masculine vagine. Alright, hang on, I need to protect someone. Oh, is Zerunia dead? No, he's not dead, but he's having a bad day. I didn't even realize that the assault troops were fucking heading for Zerunia. Oh yeah, no, Sheik is not doing anything. Oh great, and, 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 Sheik, and Sheik just fucking stood still. Like, fucking, like, I stopped controlling Sheik, and she just starts standing still doing nothing. Oh, fuck. I have to, like, manually select them and say, hey, dum-dum. Christ. Yeah, but it's like... Fucking blonde-haired person who happens to have the Triforce of Wisdom. Like, there's not too many people in the Zelda multiverse that can have the tri that Triforce. Almost all of them are female and begin with Z. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know, like, I feel like Impa's kind of being treated like an idiot here. I don't know. Like, when I tell her to go do something, she can be somewhat competent. She's just fucking... If I don't tell her to specifically do something, she's just like, Nah, fam, I'm stay here. Hey, that's how you do it. Is she, gonna manage, is she gonna actually kill that thing? Oh, for fuck's sake, Impa! It's a key! It doesn't take that long to fucking... Mm, you dingus! I don't think he did. I think, I think, I think Tetra had it all along, she just didn't... I think Tetra had it all along, she just didn't know she had it. I think the King of Red I think the King of Red Lions gave gave Link the Triforce of Courage though. I think that's what happened. I don't know, I I'd have to play that game again. But um I will say this. Maybe sometime in the future look forward to a Wind Waker LP, maybe. Maybe someday. Or maybe it'll be a stream. Still not sure. I have to dis I still have to decide. Maybe I'll put up like a poll or something, like once I got like more empty spaces on the on, on the chart. Because I've 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 got uh, the Wii U version like installed. Because I got the I got the because I've already beat the I've already beat that game like like twice. Like once back in the GameCube days and once when they released that remake on Wii U. And I, I still really like it and I do want to play another Zelda game. So I'm just like, do I want to do it as a stream or do I want to do it as an LP? I'm still not sure. I don't know. Might be better as a stream. I don't know. If you're watching on the VOD, then hey, why don't you let me know in the comments? Or if you're in the chat, let me know in the chat. What did I just do? The fuck did I just do? I don't even know what ability I just did. Okay. Hooray, I did it. Don't know what I did, but I did it. I don't, I don't like this harp shit. I don't like this fucking harpsichord. Defeat the gatekeeper, rendezvous with Ruto! Blah.
I oh yeah, that's true. So like the Triforce of Wisdom was like split in half. Yeah, that's true. Ah, the tri the fucking adult timeline is so stupid. I fucking hate it. Um. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong way. Shit, this map is bad. I don't like this map. It's too small. Hey. I don't like this map. This map is too small. There's, there's the gatekeeper. Uh, but, but like, but like, yeah. So like, Link doesn't re isn't a reincarnation because Zelda in Ocarina of Time is a dum dum. Um, but Zelda is a reincarnation, but she is, but she doesn't go by Zelda, and she's not. And she's like tangentially related to the royal family, not like a direct descendant, I think. And she has to like reclaim her birthright by realizing she is a princess or something. Like it's really weird, and I really hate that timeline. Like Wind Waker's a good game. Wind Waker's a good game, but fuck me, do I hate that fucking timeline? I hate that timeline so goddamn much. You good, Darunia? Okay, you just keep dancing to that invisible Surya song, man. Okay. Ah, oh, fucking... It's, it's not my favorite timeline out of the three. Like, I, I, I think the child timeline's the best one. Child, child timeline is the best one. It's the least fucked up in implications. And, it, uh, and it's also got the best overall arc, I feel. Where it's just like, like uh, Ganon, like uh, like Ocarina of Time never happened, and as a result, shit's a lot more peaceful. But when shit hits the fan, it's a little bit more violent than you'd think, because Ganon's had more time to gather power. So like, I, th I think I like that that more. How do I, how do I get in here? How do I get in here to fight this fight this boy? But that would mean that she's like a bajillion years old. Uh, and, and also Zelda in at the end of Ocarina is is an, is an adult. So that doesn't make sense either. You see what I mean? There is a lot of there is a lot of fucking issues with with that timeline. There's a butt ton of issues with it. Okay, why did it take? Why why why? Hi, Zoraldo. <laughs> All right, time to die. Time to commit suicide. You fucking suicide and princess suicide. All right, Zoldo. Ah, shit! It's almost as if using an actual sword of ninja tools is better in a straight-up fight. Oh, she summoned King Dodongo. Great, King Dodongo. That was a thing that needed to be in this fight. Yep. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongo. Okay, I need some support. I need some support here. Blow him up. That's... I don't remember that. But that that's even dumber than I thought. So, yeah. Once again, the adult timeline proves to be the dumbest fucking thing. I ain't, I ain't breaking up to go fight the Dongo. Fuck you. I ain't fighting no goddamn... Repeat boss? Stop at the Wind Waker, you bitch! Like, I've almost got her fucking killed. So it's like, no.
I can just nuke her, nuke her ass down. Like, it's not even an issue. Like, no, you're, you're, co you're coming out of that base. You're coming out of that secret base, Zoraldo. Alright, just get over this way so I can pick up that awakening. Ah, you dumb dumb. You're done now. Just hold it, just hold it, just hold it down. Alright, get treed on. And pop! Alright. Hey, Riku, what's up? Lens of truth! It was secretly Wizro in drag. Okay. You can't be Zoraldo because secretly Sheik was a trap all along. Zelda is actually a dude. Impa, forgive me for not telling you. I had to hide the fact that I actually have a peen. That's why Zelda never puts out. Even if she's born a dude, she has to pretend to be a girl. The princess line cannot be broken. That's... that's how it works. Even if Oc Ocarina of Time Zelda was actually a dude. That's why, she, that's why nobody blinked an eye at Sheik. Hey, Laifu, what's up? No, Riku, I'm going with my headcanon here, you son of a bitch. Ocarina of Time Zelda is actually a dude. But they had to keep up, but because they didn't get a, they didn't get a female heir, the king was like, well, shit, what do we do? And the queen was like, fuck it, dress them in dresses. I don't give a shit. So, Zelda got the name. People, Zelda was always raised to be a girl, started stuffing some bras. Trap. Prove me wrong. Cheek's looking pretty flat chested right there. I'm gonna say, it's a lot easier to stuff a bra than unstuff a bra. I'm gonna say that. Can you prove me wrong? Ocarina of Time is a trap the whole time. Yeah, but fucking Ocarina of Time. Oh, hey, Linkle. Ocarina of Time, Zelda, is like Gazonk. Yes. Yes. Zelda is Gwendolyn. Like, but like, seriously, like, look at adult Zelda in, in Ocarina of Time. She's like, gazonk, right? Like, nah. You ain't binding those. Like, not without causing lasting damage. What is, what does that times 3000 mean? Skill awoken when through the- oh shit, alright, well I can do that in like one thing. Oh wait, shit! I need to level up, fuck, okay. At the water temple, Princess Zelda and Impa had defeated Quizero. The you can't take this away from me, you bastards. to their own realm ahead of the others. Rudo and Darunia stayed behind in order to patrol the grounds and keep- And Linkle the fought them? But they suddenly found themselves drawn into battle. When they were attacked by a new wave of Is Linkle going to just fight Darunia now? The dragon okay. Knight, Volga, who led them. He set his wrath upon Rudo and Darunia and drew them into a vicious battle. It was then that Linkle, in her you are taking this. You ain't taking this head cannon from me. Because it's funny, because I hate she Zelda. She was quick to answer Rudo's plea for aid, for she knew a hero must always help those in need. Link left like straight up, like Zelda is the worst character in Legend of Zelda, except in like Twilight Princess, where she's decent. Fuck. 
Sebastian. So many levels. Oh my god. Ah. Yes, I have. I like to be I like to believe that is that is the legacy of tr of le of the Ocarina of Time Trap Zelda. It, it gave birth to a generation of Zeldas who were really into Femdom. Zelda and Impa had defeated Wizero, the Twisted Wizard. They returned to their own realm ahead of the others. I'm having fun. What's your reasoning for said theory? Okay, look at Sheik and then look at Zelda, right? Oh my god, that's so cute! Fucking... Like, fucking eat- no matter what breast binding you use, like, there is- like, that is gonna cause damage. Also, I find it- I, I find it more- I would find it more funny. I would find it more funny if, uh, if it was instead of Zelda pretending to be a dude, Zelda was actually just pretending to be a chick the whole time. Uh, I just find it funny. Ow, dick! Ow! Fuck you! There we go. Fucking light him up! Oh, I oh god, that's such a good ability. I want to play as Linkle more, damn it! Ah, like her fucking move set is so good. Like I like being just like no Russian into a fucking fight. Like which is weird because in like um, Fire Emblem Warriors, I hated the bow, the bow, the bow people. But Linkle's just like nah, pew 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 pew, pew and just lights him up. I just, you just go, no Russian! <laughs> Dude, fucking straight up, like, Link only needs her own, like, I want, like, a full-on Zelda game. Like, with, with just Link as the main, as the main protagonist. I want that. Like, bonus points if she fights the same way she does here, like, with these acrobatic fucking things, like, straight up. Oh shit, I think I broke it. Yeah, that was not worth it. Like, just, like, could you imagine just building up, like, a meter and just no rushing your way through, like, packs and packs of moblins? Like, just... <laughs> Be the first Zelda game to get a fucking mature rating. Alright, so that's one engineer. Like, I like how you guys are all, like, taking my, my Zelda as a trap. Thing, seriously, I'm not fucking Matt Pat or anything, guys. I'm sh I am shit posting live on stream. That's all that's happening. Oh yeah, that would be confusing. Cause like, that'd be super confusing. Cause it's not like there's like 75 billion links or anything. Is there? Hey. Honestly, like, I wouldn't mind, like, a, like, a Zelda game where you just got, at the start of the game, it's like, hey, pick your Link. And it's like, it's like, you got the female one, you got the male one. And the female one is, like, her default name is Linkle. Why would it be for the Philips? That doesn't even, even make sense, like... GD wishes need to make sense when they backfire, dude. Like, the CDI isn't even being made anymore. Like, you know a functioning CDI is really expensive because they aren't, like, the parts aren't even made anymore? That's just a theory. Thanks for Magma. Alright. Uh, I can't actually leave to go help Darunia. Like, I don't know what... 
I'm just gonna take it right off. There we go. I got like if there's a button to take her hood on and off. Best. Why was he outside? Why was he outside? Straight up. Like, that's, that's dumb. That's dumb. Why why were he outside? The Rooney is stupid. If he dies, it's his own fucking fault. I don't know, they're making PlayStations, dude. That's what I that's what I heard. Or like PlayStation 2s. Tyronia! I got you, fam! No Russian! Like, look at that! Fog, that's such a good ability! Oh, I love it! Okay, what am I doing now? Um. How, what the fuck? How do these guys get past me? How'd you get past me, Dinophos? Get out of my life! Come here, Dino Boy. Come here, Dino Mite. I, you know what? I don't think that'll ever happen. Because the Japanese are really weird about that. Like... If you notice, like, the Japanese, like, are really weird about, like, bare-knuckle fighting. Like, you can have, like, a game with, like, swords and shit, and it'll be, like, e rated, like, the equivalent of E for everyone. But, like, the second you add, like, fists, like, it shoots up to, like, T or above. It's really weird. Like... I don't get it. Japan is weird. Like, they'd never put, like, fist fighting in a Japanese game unless they, were, unless they change the rating system. Like... Yeah, I straight up- I can't think of a single Zelda game where, like, fist fighting is even implied. <laughs> Like, even in, like, uh... In Twilight Princess, the sumo is just slapping and grabbing. There's no punches or anything in there. Yeah, but the thing is, though, that's sumo wrestling. That's sumo. In sumo, that's just slaps. Slaps don't... Slaps are different for some reason. Like, there's never, like, a closed fist punch going on. Like, but, but yeah, like, the Japanese rating system is really fucking weird. Like, like you know what, like, the really weird thing is? Like, okay, so the Japanese do a lot of really stupid shit when they port games over for us. Because they think we're fucking children. But, um... But then, like, you have, uh... Oh, hey, me. Uh, but then, like, when you have stuff like, uh... You know, like, in, in Grand Theft Auto... In Grand Theft Auto, uh, San Andreas. That's the one. Or is it Vice City? Shit, I don't actually... Oh, shit, I don't actually remember. I, th I, I think it was San Andreas. I don't think it was Vice City. Um, but in, in San Andreas, because they didn't want to... Um, they didn't want to, uh, what was it? Incentivize, like, violence against the public. Uh, pedestrians don't drop money. Hookers don't drop money, and gang members don't drop money. Nobody drops money. The only way to get money is through, like, the non-violent ways. And as a result, um, in the start of that game, where you need to go out and you need to buy pizza, you need to buy clothes, you need to buy a haircut, um, you have to grind for, like, roughly six hours to get the amount of money required to complete that mission. And that's just a mission that's supposed to tell you how you, how you do stuff in the city. 
Do I know what a Pepini is? I've heard the term, I don't really... I'm not super familiar with it. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, like, the Japanese, they're, like, as, as, as fucking childish and stupid as they think we are, they've got their, their own really, really dumb bullshit that they, that they do. Like, there's a point where, like, I think in Japan there is, like, a, like, there's a website solely for patching Japanese ports of, uh, Grand Theft Auto back to American standards. It's probably San Andreas, yeah. Alright. Rooney, you wanna you wanna go, dude? Ooh, I'm almost, I'm almost there. I've almost got the, uh... Oh, yeah, he's a dragon. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think, yeah, it was San Andreas. I think they did, they did some other stuff to the Vice City that makes it, like, basically uncompletable in, in Japan. But I, I'm pretty sure, like, they, they, got, they, they got it fixed for, like, later re-releases, so, yeah. But, but San Andreas, they never fixed. Like, at least that's what I'm told. Get dicked on, Volga! Yeah, dude, like... There's some, like, really dumb shit in Japanese censorship for their games. It's fucking awful. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Fucking Japan, the country of fucking of fucking anime porn. Remove dildos from fucking D Deus Ex: Human Revolution. Oh god. Japan, dude. Of course they do. A hamburger. It's a small white ball with a black strip on it, right? That you gather around the traditional American kotatsu to eat. Uh. Jesus. Okay. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo! God. Fucking Linkle is so cute. Wow, I've got to save this sandwich. She's so fucking adorable. Nintendo, please give her a game, or at least <coughs> make her playable. For fuck's sake. You know, someone made a mod for um made a mod for Breath of the Wild that makes Linkle the playable character. And, like, it's just, like, a skin. Like, everything else plays the exact fucking same. But they they made Link into Linkle, and they redid all of the armor. Every single piece of armor to fit Linkle's aesthetic instead of Link's. It's so fucking impressive. Like, holy shit. Dude, if Linkle was in Smash, I would be fucking maining her. Right now. Wait, is she actually confirmed? Dude, if you're fucking with me right now, I will fucking climb through the internet and beat the shit out of you. Like, is that legit? Because, like, straight up, I need that in my life. MORE LINKLE! Wait, one hit kill? 
I'm sorry, what? Yes, dude, I would smash Linkle, dude. I'd smash that. The sorceress Sia had acquired the Triforce and used it to bring... Linkle didn't know any of this and was just kind of fucking around. Not long after this, Girahim discovered a gate of souls. It was in the sea like, Linkle is just dicking was... around in the background. She's just, like, running parallel. Allegedly like, she's either getting there first or getting there too late. He gathered a horde of monsters you best be praying. To awaken it. Is Smash Far playable on Twitch? I super could. Skyloft, the spirit I super could, I just don't want to plug my, uh, Wii U bit, my Wii U back in. Convinced that an evil force was stirring, Fi quickly left Skyloft and flew down to the sealed grounds. As Fi raced to the land below, an unexpected ally stumbled upon the very same sealed grounds. It was Linkle. I'm also, like, not super great at Smash 4, so I haven't played in a good long while. Also, I never bought all the DLC, so every time I played 4 Glory, because I'm a Robin and- I'm a Robin and Corrin and Lucina main, right? So... Every time, so every time I played, I would just, like, if there was a cloud on the enemy team, on, like, on the enemy side, I'm just like, okay, well, I guess I might as well just self-destruct, because cloud is OP as fuck. And that's why I'm glad- I'm- I'm hopeful that Cloud will not be in this game that's coming out. Because Cloud was a mistake. Cloud was a fucking mistake. Also, Futaba is better. Linkle is adorable, I want to play as her. Futaba is- is adorable and also- and also has a really nice personality. Linkle's personality is, oh haha, I think I'm the hero and I get lost a lot. The fuck? The imprisoned. He's so small. Why is he so small? Why why is he so small? Is this happening before or after I was here? The fuck? So, so what, what this is telling me is Linkle showed up before everything went down, and she made everything easier for everyone. Towards my cock mm, No! Stay away from my chicken! Man, even the, even the timeline of the fucking Zelda Warrior game is goddamn convoluted. This is just Dark Souls all over again. Son of a bitch. Stay away from my chickens! Fucking go? Alright. Stay away from my chicken! Alright, I... What is the timing on that? I threw bombs the second the thing showed up. Bullshit. What happens when Nas loses his voice? Fucking... I don't know, the world ends. Hasn't happened yet! No, they're chickens, though. Yay! They're cute, they're cute little chicken babies, yes. Cute little chicken, look at those chickens. Look at those cute little chickens. Burp, 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 burp. You... Like, no one else in this game has an ability like that, and I love it. Right, 
Where are the other in prison then? Where are they at? Don't worry, I'm gonna murder them all. I'm gonna murder them and then murder their families as well. <laughs> yeah, sir, so, like, if I do lose my voice, it'll be today, because I've been recording for fucking, like, well, like, fucking six, seven hours? And then, like, I had two hours on this, like, ten hours straight. Like, I was, like, I got, like, super behind, so I'm like, you know what, I need to record, like, a bunch more near. And then, like, yesterday, I was like, I need to record a bunch of Far Cry, and it's like, oh boy, this is gonna come back and bite me on the ass, probably, but I need to be ahead, I need to be ahead of the game. What is the timing on that supposed to be? Shit, dude. Crossbow is like full of magic or some shit. It's fucking glowing with sexual red and green energy. Where's his key oh, There he is. Right, I don't got. I go. I don't got time for this. Please just die. There you go. Right, this one's mine. Um. Oh shit. All right. Can you? Can you not, sir? Oh god, he's got such health. Away! Uh, ducks do. I think I think all all the birds just kind of rub rub their shit together. Yeah, I think I think like ducks. Ducks have dicks, and then all other birds just kind of rub their stuff. That's it. Wait, how are you not dead? Jesus. Alright. Fucking destroy the controller troops. Got it. But like, which ones are controller troops and which ones are ceremonial boys? Shit. Okay, this one's a ceremonial boy. All right, unlock him out quick. Hey, yeah, he's right. You didn't call them cocks. You were talking about them. Fucking base! He's he's right, you know. Hey, Linko got a thing. <laughs> right, please, just give me my give me my stuff. Laser beams! Oh, these things have so much goddamn health! Stop it! Stop having so much health! You son of a bitch! At least the crossbow... The crossbow meter grows really quickly. Alright, there. There we go. Okay, I saved the day. Didn't I? No, I did not. Hang on. There we go. Uh, go this way. I wish happy birthday early. Happy birthday, Riku. God, you're so needy. I wish you happy birthday earlier. Do we, do we need to sing the happy birthday song? 
Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Riku! You're getting this live, cuz fuck you! Ow, shit! Good thing that it's a good thing that song's no longer copyright because it turns out that that woman was full of shit. My voice is actually starting to hurt a little bit. Oh god. I should never let myself get behind it because I still have like three more videos to make today. And then like I gotta be up in the morning. Oh, god. Like, I gotta get, like, three more videos done, recorded, and edited by before, like, 2 a.m. Otherwise, I won't wake up in time. Christ, dude, I don't even know, dude. Like, I, I like, honestly... Like, I, I need to finish, I need to finish, like, my AA, at, at least. Uh, and she's got some stuff going on down, down where she's at, so. Also, like, I, I don't know, because, like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm gonna need, I, will, I want to go, I want to go to Vermont, though. Like, it's really pretty looking. Goddamn chicken! Oh, shit. Bitch. There's one more of these fucking controllers left. And... and Fee not handle this shit by herself. Oh good, laser beams. I love it. Why is there laser beams being fired at me right now? Please stop. Please stop, sir. There we go. Fuck me. Right, where's this where's this last controller boy? Is he over where Fee is? Yes he is. <laughs> Welcome to the Semantics Dome, BB White. Fuck. There we go. Alright, there's all the controller boys. Am I good now? Ah, oh, I still gotta to kill all the ceremony boys. Great. He's right, you know. He's not being, he's not being a grammar Nazi, he's being correct. Being a grammar Nazi would be if you were technically correct and he had you on semantics, or if you're just, you're just incorrectly using the English language. Like, I, I, I'm sorry my dude, but, like, you, you can't pull that card. I, you, you cannot invoke Godwin's law. Because grammar Nazi only only applies to when it's a semantic. Issue. We need to we need to add that to like the um, add that to the rules on the Discord. You no know, invoking Godwin. Oh, 
is, or is that, or is that too deep to fall? God damn Texans! Texans aren't even actually Americans. They're technically Mexicans that decided they wanted to be in America. That's... You know that's how Texas was founded? Like, a bunch of Americans illegally emigrated to Mexico. And then they realized that being Mexican sucked. Because the Mexican government was garbage. Um, and they're like, No! I want to be American again, but Texas is nice. So they fucking started a revolution to get out of fucking Mexico and rejoin the and rejoin the U.S. But the U.S. was like, "No, you fucking moron! Not how this works!" So they fucking did the rebellion anyway, made their own country, and then literally waited until and literally waited until the U.S. was like, "You know what? We need another state." Yep. Dude, fucking... Te like, the history of Texas is fucking dumb. Like, it's, 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 it's like, it's a, it's, a, it's a state that should be part... That honestly should rightfully be part of Mexico. But, like... But, like, a bunch of, like, pe pe uh, people from America illegally emigrated to, Mex to, to Texas, which was Mexico, because it was just better farmland than, like, fucking... Tennessee or wherever the fuck they were before. And then it's like, oh wait, no, being Mexican sucks! Oh. Like, oh man, this is so dumb. It's so fucking dumb, dude. But there's like a little bit of nuance here and there, but most of it is just really. Stop running away, you puss! It's like, well, it's like. It's like they, I, I have to imagine they were like halfway through the revolution before they asked permission. And then America was like, no, we literally can't do this. That would be that would be political suicide if we did that, my dude. Holy shit. And then, and then Texas was like, well, we're, we've already like killed like a hundred Mexican officials, like, we can't stop now. Now, I had a chance to play Kid, but like, he hasn't shown up yet. Okay, like, I will say one thing about Texas that I do like. Like, with all the issues going on, like, with, like, the you-know-whats in the you-know-wheres, because I don't want to start a fucking argument right now, but you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking with. They're not just doing reactionary, we should ban this thing! They're actually going like, hey, maybe we should take these places that are traditionally just completely unsecured fucking death traps and put some actual precautions, like not giving them open fucking floor plans. And putting metal detectors and shit like that. You know, things that, like, an actual government building should have? I don't know, like, it... Like, I will say that that makes a lot more fucking sense than the reactionary shit that's going on in, like, literally every other state. Ganondorf, Skeletal Jack. I was singing happy birthday to Gan, and I call him Ganondorf, because that's his Christian name. <laughs> no, because his real his, his, his full name is Ganondorf. And Ganon is like his nickname kind of thing. Like when he's hitting up the club. They're the same fucking person. It's just when Ganondorf becomes a mistress, when Ganondorf transforms into a monster, he adopts the name Ganon. No, Ganondorf and Ganon are the same person, but they're the reincarnation of Demise. 
Uh. Oh, pardon me. Exactly, Ganondorf Dragmar. And then when he transforms into his beast form, he drops the dwarf, because dwarf, if I remember correctly, is a Gerudo, is a Gerudo, like, is a Gerudo uh, suffix, I think. For, like, a noble. So, so when, when he transforms into a beast, he's no longer a Gerudo, so he doesn't use the suffix anymore. That's how it was explained to me. I don't remember where, though. Hey! So, like, when, he, when he's a Gerudo, he's, he's Ganondorf, and if he's around close friends or he's in his beast form, he's Ganon. Why is Ganon evil? Technically, he's not. Technically, de actually, it depends. Like, Ganon in, Oc Ganon in Ocarina of Time, technically not evil. Technically. Because he, well, most of what he wanted to do was he wanted to stop his people, the Gerudo, from living in abject fucking poverty. Um, and the Hylians are kind of dicks about that. Uh, every other game? Because he fucking wants to. That's why. Like, like, Ganondorf is- Ganondorf is evil because... Because he's a dick. Recommended lightning. I don't have lightning for this. Shit. Do I have a better sword? Yes, I do. Oh, hey, we all got teleported for some reason. Oh, Link should be just like, hey, where the fuck- Who the fuck are half of these people? Who are you? Oh wait, you're Zelda. Where is Sheik? Like, straight up, like... Like, Link should be super goddamn confused about all of this. Next, we need to murder everyone. You got some splaining to do, bitch! Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so if we put this sword in your face, the problem becomes solved. The one's so responsible for this is Ganondorf! Oh no! Hang on. Uh, three bags of my spirit. Oh no, it's Ganondorf. <laughs> oh no, he's Ganon. What am I doing when Ganon looks like? <laughs> um. Um. Well, I okay. I'll, after this, after this cutscene, uh, because I won't actually see this cutscene right now. Oh no, it's Ganondorf. He's being a mini butt, but he, he learned magic missile and BDSM magic. Congratulations, you played yourself. Damn, she's actually putting some fight up. More fight than anyone so far. Damn, Sia. Some brass. She's got some brass fucking ovaries. You know what? I respect her. I, re I respect you, evil bitch. And also, she wants to fuck Link. Holy shit. Alright. 
Okay, so what we said? Oh, what's my theory on Ganon looks like he does in Breath of the Wild? So, okay, so my theory about Breath of the Wild is that Breath of the Wild takes place um, at like the far, far end of the of the child timeline. Now, in the child timeline, it's unique in that Ganon never dies, or he never dies for good. Um, but tragically corrupted. At the end of Ocarina of Time, uh, in the child timeline, Ganon's plan is prevented from happening, right? Um... Right, so, like, he's, so he's locked away for, like, let's say... Enough for enough time for, like, Ocarina of Time Link to be forgotten. Like, forgotten entirely, which is, which is why he comes back to the hero shape. Um... So let's say, like, 500 years. Right, Ganon's locked away for about 500 years, he corrupts the Twilight Realm, which grows from, uh, which grow, which, so basically, the Sacred Realm no longer holds the Triforce, the Triforce has been sent out, and it now continually belongs to the reincarnations of Link, Zelda, and Ganon. Um, the Interloper, uh, as, uh, Ganon is banished at some point, the Interloper War happens some centuries after that, and they are banished to the Sacred Realm, which then becomes the Twilight Realm. Ganon is also banished to the twi to the Sacred Realm, and which and as over time becomes the Twilight Realm, his magic corrupts the Twilight, and they get shadow magic. Da da da. Ganon then so Ganon's stewing in his own shit for five hundred fucking years. Uh, I don't know. I, well, I mean, the timeline kind of proves that to be the case. Timeline kind of proves that to be the case, but there is there, but um. Uh, okay. Uh, what was I saying? Yes. Uh, so the so then after the after, so like five hundred years, uh, let's say like let's say like a hundred years in the interloper war happens, uh, the twilight are banished. Ganon has four hundred years to corrupt them. Uh, twilight princess happens. Uh, G Ganon uh, is 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 killed at the end, um, but he also curses Link, so he's. So he set forth on his cycle there. Now the issue is that later on in Four Swords Adventures, someone takes Ganon's body and reincar and, and and revives him. So that is still the same Ganon. Ganon's soul hasn't had a chance to revive yet. He like or, or reincarnate yet. So it's still the same Ganon. He still knows everything. So this is the same Ganon that has been alive for, let's say, 600, 700 years at this point. He gets defeated at the end, he gets defeated at the end of Four Swords Adventures, and I don't remember what exactly happens to him at the end of Four Swords Adventures. Um, and then, uh, and then he, and then, like, he kind of, he, I imagine his soul probably fucks off for a bit, because Minish Cap happens. Um, now I think, round about this point, Ganon is like, okay, this reincarnation shit isn't kicking in. It has been almost a thousand goddamn years now. I am still kicking around, and this kid in fucking green keeps showing up. It's bullshit. So, I think at that point, instead of reincarnating into a Gerudo, Ganon goes, fuck this, I'm coming back, I'm coming back full force, and he throws everything he has for that reincarnation into into forcing his way back into the real world as Calamity Ganon. And and that's and so he so he like no more reincarnation because he he hasn't used it. He hasn't used it is done him nothing but is is done him no good and all reincarnation has done is is help Link and Zelda. Um so he he f says fuck that, he comes back as Calamity Ganon. Uh, they find um, the the Hylians find the the hidden Sheikah weapons, the the guardians and the sacred beasts, which were probably built during probably sometime after after Minish Cap. Uh, um, they fight Ganon off. This and then and this cycle continues. Ganon gets fought off, but because he is he is now like a being of pure dag nasty evil, they don't have enough power to kill him. They don't have enough power to kill him. Like for some reason, maybe it's maybe it's because the ring, maybe because he's just so fucking strong, and they need and they need like a full-on goddess Hylia thing to go. I don't know, or like maybe like 
like Zelda can never train her powers enough. I don't know. It's it's we need more games. Um, and then that continues and continues and continues, and it's just at this point where it's like every time Ganon comes back, he backs the fuck up, like right when he's about to lose. But every time he does, because it's the same Ganon every time, he's learning more and more and more and more. But because Link and Zelda are mortal, they die. Which means they get reincarnated and the new version has to learn everything over again. So over time, he just manages to overpower the Zelda of the day because that, that Zelda doesn't know anything. And so, so that's my idea. Like, this Ganon has just been, it's the same Ganon from Ocarina of Time, and he's just been around long enough that he's like, fuck this reincarnation thing, I'm not using it, I'm gonna use up all of my reincarnations to just go max power, gain energy, and just abuse it. Because eventually, I'll gain enough power that Zelda will be irrelevant. What he doesn't count on, though, is the hundred years where Zelda is basically kept alive fighting him, where she's learning enough magic to overpower him when teamed up with Link and the Master Sword. Like, that's... that's my theory. That's my theory. It's, it's, it's just... it's Child Timeline Ganon. He's had enough. He's not using the reincarnation. So, why bother? Like, he's not been using it. He's been alive for a thousand years. The fuck's he need reincarnation for? I was my thoughts about Lionel's. What about him? Like, they're really annoying to fight. Alright, let's go get the Master Sword, then. Yeah, what about Lynels? Oh, there's a Temple of Time in the background, look at that. Oh, yeah, you pull that sword out and you, and you, leave, you let Ganon out. Oh, shit. I, I, I think that Termina exists. I, I, I'm of the opinion that Termina actually exists. Ah, oh, she believes in him. Ah, oh. Lana's like, no, let me get that elf dick. You get it all the time, Zelda. It's mine now. Va no, Vadi's sealed in the four sword. I think. Dude, I don't even bother with Master Mode. Master Mode's a gimmick. I don't... I don't... I don't play it. I don't play Master Mode. Alright, hang on. There, I need to turn on these fucking statues. Wait. Huh. I think Majora's Mask, if you discount the time, you discount the recess, I think Majora's Mask takes place over like four days. Because you've got like the three days where the moon is, actually no, it takes place over five days. You've got the first day where like nothing really counts. You have this, and then you got the three days where the moon is falling, and then you have like the, the, the fifth day uh, where um, you're actually fighting Majora. But, uh, but yeah, there's... Boo! Oh no, he's spooky ghost boys! Oh no! Oh no, spooky ghost men! Yes, yeah, so there's like this is like at least five days. 
But um, but yeah, like I, I honestly I think that Calamity Ganon is, is it's post it's it's post um it's it's post four swords and definitely post Minish. Hundred and ten percent. Especially because Ganon and Boxy, I think they know each other, and I think they would have shared information because if Ganon didn't know about the re reincarnation shtick by that point, Vadi probably would have told him because Vadi's Vadi has fought Link specifically. Like, cause remember, G uh, Ganon's killed by the Master Sword. Vadi is killed by the Four Sword. That's the that's the difference. This is a really cool fucking track, bro. Right? Like I stopped talking for like a second. Like, ooh, this is a cool ass track. You got know, like, like you got the beat and you got the fucking ghost. No, I disagree. He's a hero. Shut up. Well, here's the thing. Like Zelda is the Zelda is the the reincarnation of um, what's her face? Fucking um. Hylia, but she doesn't know. Like, you know, so it's like, just because, like, they're the reincarnation doesn't mean they know off the top of their head. I think, I, I honestly, I think that none of them knew, none of them know. I think Ganon would only know, like, in, in the universes where he's alive for, like, a really long period of time. What are these three fucking statues I'm activating? Is it, is it these ones behind the rocks? No? Oh, I just gotta wait for them to show up. Okay. Just do murder. But, uh, but yeah, so it's like, I, I honestly, I honestly feel like child timeline makes the most sense. Just because that'd be the that'd be the only Ganon that would get pissed off enough. Is I mean, if you remember, is like remember, when you reincarnate, you don't keep your memories. You don't keep your memories. Like you've got like your general personality. Like Ganon will always be a dick. Zelda will always kind of be a bitch. Uh, but she'll be like really she'll be like like she should be like. She can be kind of be a bitch, but she can also like be like really sundere, or she can be sweet. But like she's always like more or less the same person. But generally, but generally their their memories don't stay. So for Ganon to figure it out, I feel like there would have to be a Ganon that lives longer than Link, and lives long enough to see a second Link show up. And that and the only and the only Ganon, and that'd be the one who would la live long enough to finally get pissed off and say, "All right, I've got all these extra lives here. What if I just dump them all into one?" And I feel like that would be Child Timeline Ganon. Did she? Like, did she? But did she know at the start though, or did she get told? I don't remember. To be honest, a lot of this is theory crafting. Like, the best we have is the Zelda timeline they put out, and you just make extrapolations from there. Zelda's never had, like, a super detailed story. Like, like I said, most of this most of this is just us, like, guessing based on context clues. Which is why Zelda lore is so fun. down these outposts and shit, but I ain't seen jack fucking shit for statues. Like, all I'm finding is, like, summoners.
I do, I don't even. It was like the, the the Zelda timeline was published like what was it like about the time the Wind Waker came out? Oh wait, no, it was like after Spirit Tracks. Had to be the Spirit Tracks is on there. I think that was like the latest game. It was on the DS. Where is this fucking statue? And that's the and that's the one in the child timeline. Oh shit! Okay. The bird light. See, my theory makes sense. Do you see what I mean? It makes sense. Gammon and Link don't know about their re their reincarnations. It's possible Zelda might know. It's possible Zelda might know, because Zelda, you know, she's got access to, like, Hyrule history and shit, so she's like, Hey, like, the three of us tend to show up a lot, it's really fucking weird. And she might be able to put two and two together, and also she's got the literal embodiment of wisdom tattooed on her left hand, like a weirdo tramp stamp. So that might also help. But, uh, like, Link and Ganon don't know that. So, like, for Ganon to find out, he would have to live long enough to see it happen. Alright, later, life rope. Is gonna take Min to do this one? Where is she? I don't see her. Great, she's not on my map either. Oh, there she is. Edna! Stop fighting these bajillion dudes! Come on, girl, Christ. Save your blood boner in a fucking second. Holy shit. Like, Zelda lore is really cool. Like, like... Like, I think, like, Zelda was, like, the original Dark Souls when it came to that, and, like, all of this is literally only feasible to find out via, via context clues, and a good deal of it probably wasn't even intended by the, by the fucking creators. So have fun. That's my favorite type of lore. Oh, jeez, like, for real, though. Ganon yeah, almost always. The fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Are you, are you sure Ganon gets his back? Because he always makes the same mistakes. It would make sense if Ganon had had the iffy record. Link got none, and Zelda got them all. Like, it wouldn't make any sense for- because Ganon makes too many of the exact same mistakes. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, you said headcanon. That's a fan fiction, right? Yeah, I, I would say that it's probably better just... Like, Zelda gets- Zelda gets- gets them all because she's the embodiment of wisdom, and that would kind of make sense. Um, Link sometimes gets some, depending on uh, whether his incarnation is close to Zelda or not, because she'd probably tell him, and that might, like, you know, ancestral memory shit. And Ganon gets none, because he's, because he's literally his, his people, his, like, the Gerudo don't keep a written history. Like, they don't. Like, it's all oral. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Like, no offense to the... No offense to the guy who, who wrote that, uh... Who wrote that fanfiction, but, like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh... Ah, it just doesn't make any sense to me.
So here's the thing, though. Bowser isn't just an idiot. Bowser's a big, dumb fucking turtle. Ganon is literally a demon. Please turn on the statue. Turn on the statue, Darunia. Turn the statue on. Dum dum. trying to think of like any I'm trying to think of like any reason like like the the Calamity Ganon could be from the child timeline or from uh the, the failed timeline but I don't I can't think of a reason why because both of those Ganons die often enough that even if they manage that even if they keep their memories even if they keep their memories, I feel like them giving up all of their reincarnations would be incredibly stupid of them. Like, like, dumb enough that, like, it doesn't strike me as something he would do. Because Ganon, like, he, when, when Ganon goes, like, full beast form, he can be, like, super irrational and violent. But Ganondorf himself is actually a is actually pretty shrewd. Like he's actually a pretty shrewd dude. So like like why would he give himself the disadvantage? Like if I like if if he goes like alright if, if I just throw out my resurrections here and I and I, I kill Link and Zelda here, they're just gonna come back in a hundred years. So if they if, if they manage to kill me somehow, I'm just done. So, like, that doesn't strike me as something that he would do. But then... You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, like, Ganon, Ganon's smarter than you think. Like, you kind of have to be to beat Ganon, because think about how badly his shit gets wrong, and it's like, after this much time, nah, like... For Ganon to will willingly give up his resurrections, just for power, it would have to be a Ganon that doesn't actually use the Resurrections, and the only Ganon that doesn't actually use them is his Child Timeline Ganon, because he's never actually resurrected. Like, I, if I'm remembering the timeline correctly, I think that Ocarina of Time is is the second Resurrection, like, not counting Demise himself, is only the second time Dem Demise's spirit ever came back. You know? So... Okay, where the fuck is this commander? Is he inside? No, oh, doors aren't open. Where's the commander? Okay, can we... Com uh, relate? Do you mind if we stick to... to, to uh, cannon sources here? Like, like no offense, but... Like, I don't think a fan, like, I mean, like, I appreciate the, the guy wrote, like, this big-ass, this big-ass fanfiction, but it, it's kind of confusing me a little bit, a little tiny bit. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, like if he does keep memory, or he, like if he at least knows that he's being reincarnated. Like, if he's just like, yeah, like, if, like, like if I give up my reincarnations, I'm fucked. I don't, I don't see any Ganon from any timeline other than Child One doing it. It doesn't make any sense from a like a logical standpoint. 
Where is he? Oh, okay, that's neat. I might have to look at that at some point. Oh, it was our evil Lana the whole time. Okay. Sounds like a manga. Now she died. Yeah. Ganon from the first legend. Yes, that's uh, the Ganon from the failed timeline. That Ganon doesn't explicitly use resurrections. Um, so that Ganon, if I remember correctly, because the Gerudo are extinct in that timeline, he just reforms. Like he, his soul reincarnates. Like whole cloth into his pig form because the Gerudo are extinct because he killed them all because he's an idiot. Um, but he still got reincarnations. Still counts. Every 100 years he comes back unless someone speeds it along like they did in Zelda 2. Actually, that doesn't even come back in Zelda 2. Like, someone is trying to revive him. Someone is trying to uh, bring his soul back faster in Zelda 2. Um, and if you fail, it's implied that, that he comes back. And then in Link Between Worlds, I think that the hunt that's the hundred years past. So Ganon reforms. So Ganon reforms naturally. Um, I don't think he has his memory left. I don't think he has his memory. Um, Link to the uh, Link, oh yeah, Link to the past. Sorry. And then Link to the and Link, then Link Between Worlds. And in Link Between Worlds, it's not Ganon, but I think it's someone who has um, invoked Ganon's soul, invoked Ganon's spirit. I think. I don't know, I never beat that game. Someone stole it from me. On the spot, recommend me an anime. Fucking My Hero Academia, go watch it. Go watch My Hero Academia, do it now. Watch all of it. Season 3 is really good. And I don't remember I don't remember what other games are in the defeat timeline. But yeah, that 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 timeline 110% uses uh uses resurrections. my thoughts on English dub? Um, nine times out of ten, English dubs suck. Like, that's honestly what it is. Like, nine times out of ten, it's just garbage. Like, that's... Like, that's honestly what I think. Like, I hear, my Hero Academia dub is, is okay, but... Like, so much of the delivery has changed. It's really weird. Like... Like, Amer like English dubs have this weird habit. Of, of changing the delivery of lines. Like, a lot of people really like the, the Steinsgate and Claymore dubs. And, like, if they like them, then they like them, and that's fine. But, like, in the um, Claymore one, specifically, like, in, in the Japanese, Claire is very dry. She's, she's kind of a bitch. And, um, and, like, you know, she's very cold, but she has, like, moments of warmth. In, in the English dub, she's she just sounds like a cunt. Like, even when she's supposed to be warm, she's just a cunt. Uh, and then there's Steinsgate. Like... There's like in, then there's the Steinsgate dub, which another one people say, like, Oh no, Steinsgate dub is really good! I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. 
I don't get why I don't get it. I I Ocarine Ocarine is supposed to sound like a fucking giant man child when really he just sounds like a douchey asshole. Daru is supposed to sound like a fucking like uh Hikikimori Dojin addict. Instead he sounds like a fucking pedophile. Um except for when he talks about the dick making it cuter, but that's that's a different story. Um I don't get your question. Like, ah, it's just... If you're gonna watch anime, watch it in Japanese with the, with the subs. Like, that's honestly what I'm saying. Like, like, like just if you if you care about authorial, authorial intent, which I do, um, then, then watch it, then watch it subbed. Because most of the time, this, just the change in, the change in delivery just fucks it for me. Like, I don't, I don't like it. Oh, that's an ugly-ass shade of purple. Isn't it usually darker than that? Oh. Oh, look, you got the master sword. I know there are, but the most, but most of them suck. Like, like, one good dub won't change the fact. One good, one good dub won't change the fact that, that like nine, that ninety other dubs fucking suck. And you fucking stop with one, like, Jesus. And not really. Like, you can get a lot of emotion from the actual Japanese itself. Like, that Japanese is a, is a pretty emotional language, dude, like... I haven't seen No Game No Life, so that's someone else's... Where'd Wizro go? Oh, he's fucked up, okay. Hey, dinguses. I like how the Master Sword came with the fucking Hylian shield, too. He's just sitting there in the corner. He's like, oh, hey, I'll take that. I think, I think someone already has. I think someone already has requested it. It's just on the list. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, yeah. Thank you, and thank you very much. Is Domo Arigato. Um, Japanese is Nihonjin. Uh, oh, fucking. There's a, mm, like, 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 I, I just, uh like, okay, the shitty thing is, like, if I listen to Japanese, I can get the gist, so, like, I don't have to rely on the subtitles as much, like, like, I still read them, but, like, if I, like, look away for a second, I'm not completely lost, but, like, ask me to actually fucking, like, speak Japanese, and I'm at a loss, because my brain always, like, has just a big old fart, it's just like, oh, what are these words fucking mean again? Like, I tried to learn, I tried to learn, um, I tried to learn, uh, like, Japanese to, like, continue, cause I, 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 like, like, I used to know someone who spoke Japanese completely fluently, and, like, he's just like, and he's like, hey, here's some, like, here's, here's some shit for you, right, like, just like, hey, figure, figure this, here's a, la here's a cool language, and, like, he's basically, like, here, if someone's tell t telling you this, this is what it means, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, so it's like, I have, like, like, I have a rough grasp of you, if you talk to me, and I'll be able to get the general gist of the idea, I might miss some words, but, like, tell me to speak it or read it, and I'm like, no. And, like, I started using Duolingo, but fuck me, I hate Duolingo for Japanese. Like, for real. Like, it's it's so annoying. Because it's like, hey, here's a bunch of fucking sounds. 
What do these sounds mean? Fuck if I know, fam, but if you put all these sounds together, here's the word they mean. And I'm like, languages don't know like that. What, how, what the fuck am I gonna know the difference between ta, ko, ka, and fucking ku? Yeah, and kaikaku. Yeah, like, you don't tell me what the fucking... How am I supposed to know the word if you don't tell me what the fucking uh, components mean? And it's like really frustrating because it also just throws a lot of hiragana at you and it's like... This is one hiragana! Here's another hiragana that's like different by like one fucking 23 degree angle. Like... Oh, uh, and it just, it just is so annoying. Because it's such a bad way to learn Japanese. It's like the only way I have open to me. And it's so frustrating. So like I've just kind of given up and I'm just hoping that eventually I'll just go somewhere and it's like, hey Japanese lovers. And I wouldn't say their music's better. I say it's mostly just like if you're a fan of if you're a fan of something in a different in, in a different language, watch it in that language with subs. Because authorial intent is a thing. And every time something get and any time something gets dubbed. It's going to be reinterpreted for the... It's going to be reinterpreted for the uh, country it's being sent to. Which means that you're going to lose a lot of context. Because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't really track as you switch countries. Like, eat your hamburgers, Apollo. The traditional American Kotatsu. Like, don't fucking bother. Because most of the time with subs anyway, if it's a fan sub, they'll like if there's something that's like very like niche in Japanese, they'll put a fucking like note. Note, Keikaku means plan. Like, you know, like just like like not that stupid of course, but you know, like a Kotatsu is a fucking stool that people sit around for dinner because the Japanese don't believe in chairs because they're fucking weird. I don't need to learn Texan lessons. Just gotta be, I just gotta use the N word liberally. Ba da ba ba da ba. And also wave my gun in the air and put a hand on my wallet. Now where's this girl? Zap my fucking face. I'm gonna beat your ass, boy. Fuck these assholes in my base! Get out of my base! Alright, Wizard, where are you at? Dude, don't make it a racist thing. Like, making fun making fun of Texas is one thing. Making a race thing is another thing. Come on. Don't be like that. Like, making fun of Texas is something everyone can agree on. Because they're just Mexicans that wanted to be American when they figured out that, tech, that, that being Mexican sucks. In, like, the 1800s. Was it 1800s or 7? No, it was 1800s. I'm, why did I think 1700? Never a minute. I'm a dumb. I guess you kind of just proved me right. So, eh. Wizro. On. I'm, I'm beating him into another base. I beat him out of his own base into another base. Unfortunately, is also owned by his team. That's unfortunate. There we go. Now he's done. Bamboozled again! Bamboozled again.
Uh. Alright, so we have the MacGuffin sword now. Like, four streams in? <laughs> so, I mean, I guess that means the end of the game's coming soon. Oh no! That's a short-ass video game. But that does mean I can start KOTOR soon, so eh. Bam 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 bam! That white sword didn't last long though, did it? Got like one use out of it, and it goes immediately fucking replaced with the master sword. That's some bullshit. Hey, there we go. You got the glittering rapier! No! Not playing no more nip right now. No, then white sword. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Is it gonna be another cutscene now? No. Limited to Lonk. Shit. I only play as Lonk. Alright, um, I don't have enough time for another mission, do I? Alright, well, let's, uh, level Lonk up if we can. Max. He's max level. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm I am done with the net for a good long while, my dude. Night, Brutal. I'm gonna wrap the stream up here in a sec. I just wanna get this level up. Just get Link to fucking as max as I can, because I'm gonna be stuck with him for a bit, I'd manager. He's got the massive sword. Alright, so with that... Oh, hey, I can max out the magic rod. Defense badge. Still nothing here. Okay, and assist badge. Fucking nothing. Fuck, dude. That's, that's a really dumb upgrade trick. And everybody, so with that, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna be ending. I, I, I don't really have time for another mission, so I don't know what to do. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave this here for a bit. So, hey, thank you everybody for watching. Tomorrow is the uh, final day to enter the uh, Die for Valhalla giveaway thing. Um, if you find the Die for Valhalla, Die for Valhalla video and you type "Give the Vikings Boss" in the comments, you're entered to win. So if you're if you show up uh, tomorrow. So you show up to show up tomorrow at uh, like at the stream at like 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna be streaming some more Die for Valhalla, uh, and at some point during the stream, uh, I will be drawing from a hat the winners. Uh, I have two keys to give away. It's the full game, and it's a really fun little Castle Crashers style game. So that's how that's how that's gonna be done. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's gonna be that's gonna be good. But thank you everybody for watching, those of you who sat here with me live, and those of you who watched on the VOD. As always, I am Nozvix. I go on to the video and find out. So, as always everybody, I am Nozvix. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share social media, because that helps out a whole bunch. And if you really like my stuff, then hey, feel free to subscribe on Patreon, um, support me on Twitch, or fill up the cup with bits if, you, if you're here live. I don't know. Anyway. I will see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you around the room.